How to minimize the loss of water. The problem with the loss of water at a global level has been one of the most concerning issues for the majority of governments in Latin America, as well as for other countries around the world. One issue is caused by commercial losses due to a lack of measurement being done on consumers' water use. One side of the problem has to do with fees, and on the other hand, there are the physical losses, which are focused on leaks and on the inefficient use of water. Today, Latin America has losses that, in certain countries, can even reach 80%. What does this mean? It means that 80% of the water supplied by the water company is being wasted. So, 80% of the water coming out of the company, then passing through the city's infrastructure, is not reaching the final consumer. In certain companies or countries, the level is lower. We're still talking about losses of 40 to 50 percent. In Ecuador, for example, we see around a 70 percent loss of water. In Colombia, the level of loss is lower, around 45 to 50 percent, yet we still have a lot to do as consumers in order to help the water companies. What is being done today regarding the loss of water? Well, what our company is doing at a global level, whether in the Philippines, Brazil, South Africa and other countries, is to manage the problem of water loss by doing a variety of activities. These include the reduction of pressure, we're also reducing commercial loss with the installation of adequate meters. Not all consumers have adequate or working meters, or meters that are adequate in terms of the pressure used by that consumer. On the other hand, there is network redevelopment. One must remember that there are many networks for infrastructure, such as pipelines, water pipes, which in the city are, in many cases, over 30 to 40 years old. What we do is we identify the weakest sections of the network and we improve it by changing parts of the tubes, improving the water company's infrastructure. Fix your water leaks. This will save you thousands of pesos. But it will also help you to not waste water. Think about what's right in order to help conserve our planet. What are the tools that are being given to the consumer? Today, as part of teaching the final consumer on the efficient use of water, Water companies and governments are promoting a process to test tools believed more efficient in the conservation of water. For example, smaller and more sophisticated toilets that are better at using water more efficiently, automatic sensor faucets, and a variety of other tools that can help the final consumer reduce the losses we've been talking about. At the end of the day, we should remember that in order to efficiently manage water resources, in order to better conserve water, we must all make a commitment. 
On one hand, you have a company like ours, experts in water loss reduction and efficient water management. And on the other hand, you have companies supplying services and aqueducts. And then you also have governments. It's still very important, however, for final users to take the responsibility of using water efficiently, of closing the faucet when you're done brushing your teeth, for example, or not letting the faucet run when washing your car. It's our responsibility to take care of the world's water. Drop by drop, our water is running out. Leaving the water running will not mean that water will come out tasting fresher. If you want it cool, keep it in the fridge. Think about what's right for our planet. 